We're going to be doing the VOR runway 15. We've already ran our wire checklist. We got the weather at Mankato. We have our instruments set. So we're doing the VOR runway 15 at Mankato. Our approach is valid. We have the VOR frequency in 110.8 and we have verified it. The approach course is going to be 139 degrees, runway landing length 6,600, touchdown zone elevation 1020, airport elevation 1021. We have all of our frequencies in, so we are going to proceed direct to the Mankato VOR, where we will then overfly it and fly on the 319 radial outbound, and we will remain within 10 miles and do the procedure turn. And we will fly the procedure turn with a heading of 004, and then a left turn to a heading of 184. Once we intercept the inbound course of 139 degrees, we will begin our final approach fix checklist, and we'll descend down to our circling minimums because the winds are favoring 33. And our circling minimums will be 1,600. If we don't have the runway in sight to go missed, we'll overfly the VOR, climb to 2,000, Thank then you, climbing Andrew's left turn to 2,700, direct to the VOR to hold. And the hold will be a parallel entry. Thank you. All right, we're approaching the VOR. We're entering the cone of confusion here. So once we get the flip of the flag, we will tune in our 319 course and fly our 319 course outbound. We have also already ran our initial approach fix checklist of BC Gumps. So now we're tuning in that 319 and we'll start our turn outbound. All right, at six miles, we are going to start our procedure turn outbound. And we're going to start it at six miles so that we stay within that 10 mile range from the main Cato view. So I'm going to turn right to a heading of 004, and I'm going to time that for one minute. All right, now we're going to turn to our heading of 184. And we're going to tune in our inbound course of 139. So now we are turning inbound to intercept our inbound course. All right, so we have intercepted our inbound course, so we can begin our final approach fix checklist of time, gears down, power for descent, power, I just made a radio call, lights, and flaps. We won't add any flaps on this approach because we will be doing a circle to land 3-3. Three, three. And our minimums are 1,600. There are our minimums. I see the runway environment, so I'm going to go ahead, break off, and enter a low left downwind for 3-3. All right, so on the circling approach, we want to remain within 1.3 miles of a point on the surface of the airport. And on a circling approach, it's important that you don't descend below or above what altitude you broke out at. We're going to start turning base here. I'm not going to start descending yet because I'm already low. I'm going to add one notch of flaps in the wide arc. Final is clear. And now, getting ready to turn final, I'll start descending. Minimums. 